Hey guys, Clint here. We we're uh, driving around. Got me a work car. That's what you want to call it. Uh, 2010 Chevy HHR. Uh, got it a few days ago, but we've had some. If you can see there, we've had quite a bit. That's not actually snow. That's uh, actually ice. But. Uh, Just got this car. Uh, today's first day that I've actually been able to drive it to work. And like I said, we've we've had a bunch of ice. Getting it home was actually kind of tricky because we'd already had some ice, but we managed. But uh, thought we just kind of give you a little introduction. Sorry about my GPS. Uh, a little introduction to the car. Uh, like I said, it's 2010. HHR, I had one. Actually, I traded traded mine in on Rocky, my pickup truck. Uh, really liked the, that old car. It was a neat little car, fun to drive, comfortable to drive. I'm a six foot guy, and I got plenty of room. I don't know about the back seat, but. Uh, Decided, you know, I was looking for a work car. I was actually looking for a manual, but if I figured if I come across one of these for a good price, we'd get it. So, like I said, it's 2010. I uh, got a 2.2 uh, EcoTech uh, automatic. You know, I wanted a manual, but get what you can. Uh, the price is right. Kind of high miles. Got a few bugs, but. Uh, we drove it today to kind of help shake it down, so we're going to check it out as we go, and we might even make a little project out of it along the way. So. One thing I can say about this car, it's not near as nice as what my other car was. Uh, the one I had was a, I believe it was an LT. Uh, just a step down from having all the bells and whistles on it, had heated seats, uh, uh, remote start, this one I think has the remote start, but I didn't get no key, uh, key fobs with it, uh, and the other, other car one I had, actually had a Pioneer, uh, stereo system in it, factory, well, I don't know if it's necessarily a factory, that's how it came from the aftermarket place, and it, actually put together it was the, my old one was a regency model uh, two-tone 18 inch rims that's how it came from the dealership uh, but this one pretty much plain Jane uh, like I said automatic just an old standard stereo system get about 20 Four mile a gallon with it. Uh, hold on. My my old one, I I actually got 28, 29 mile a gallon out of it, but it had a 2.4 EcoTech in it, high output EcoTech in it. This is just a 2.2 EcoTech. Uh, power, you know, power wise, this one don't get up and go as hard as the other one, but this, like I said, this a little bit different engine. So. Pulling out on the road here. We get in here on a speedometer. We're on the floor. She's a straight ripper, I tell you. It's a straight ripper. But I know we're trying to come up with a name for her. I'm kind of, kind of leaning towards the thought of the laddie wagon uh, something simple my other one we call it the g wag because it was actually my grandma's car and i i inherited it when it when she died so what do you think for a name g wag or yeah, it can't be a g wag we already got it got that one covered but i, I kind of like the idea of laddie wagon uh, we kind of one of my thoughts is seeing if we can fix it up a little bit with junkyard parts. Uh, 
you know, get see if we can't find some nice wheels off of a coal bolt or something like that. Aluminum wheels versus steel wheels with hubcaps. I hate hubcaps, so I'm probably gonna pop them off the brand new hubcaps. Uh, probably gonna pop them off just because I don't like the hubcaps. And uh, been looking around grills and things like that are actually pretty cheap for this car. I can get a grill for I can get a nice one for less than a hundred bucks for the upper and lower section of the, of the front end. Uh, kind of looking, thinking about headlights and tail lights. But then in mind, I got to keep in mind that you know eventually we got a race car to put together too, so. We can't get too crazy with this. There's, there's wild ideas running. Uh, we'll get home here and uh, get a chance. I'll give you guys a look on the outside and see what we got going on on the outside of this thing. All right, guys, as promised, I will show you the HHR. As you can see, nothing special. Dark blue, dirty. Of course, that's after driving work, and plus is about the car lot's about five, you know, about two or three miles off of the dirt road there in here in Missouri. So you can see back hatch is open. The, the back seat folds down, so we can fit a lot more stuff in there if we need to. Uh, nothing real fancy. Got the old hubcaps. Those are brand new, but I'm gonna probably take them off and paint the old steel wheels. Um, nothing real fancy, like I said, just a standard four-door car. Uh, we, uh, I drove it back and forth to work once, and that's pretty much it. So, we've introduced you to the car. Uh, Help me pick out a name. Like I said, I. I kind of like the idea of laddie wagon. I've even thought of a work wagon because that's what it's going to be for, driving back and forth to work. So we're going to go ahead and slip on out of here. And we got to get on the tractor and see if we can't get some ice broke up because, as you can see, we are on a hill all the way down to there. It's all uphill, and this little thing don't do very good in ice. So. And I'm doing good just to stay walking on it, but we're going to jump on a tractor and switch out, put the bucket on it, and see if we can't get some of this ice scraped up so I can get in and out of the driveway. And plus, we're getting another, I've heard, up to, oops, up to 18 inches of snow in the next couple days. So I need to get this ice off so we can get in and out of the driveway if we need to. So catch you guys later. God bless you. Stay safe out there and try to stay warm. Got up at zero degrees today, so you guys try to be safe and stay warm. We're gonna put on the old red here and go out there and do some work.